Hi there, my name's Andrew Adams from Parker Adams Boat Sales. Um, I'm Jonathan Parker from Parker Adams Boat Sales. And we thought we'd do a <laughs> joint video for a change. Very reminiscent yes. of the one that we did in Guernsey, actually, about six months ago on another lovely big flybridge. It's a horrible day outside, so probably a perfect day to be inside a very warm, cosy flybridge. And what boat are we on? Uh, we're on a Fairline Squadron 52. Well remembered, I'm yes. impressed. What age is it? So it's a 2001 boat. So originally sold in 2001. It was actually launched in 2002. Um, and I really, really like this boat. It's the first time I've been on a Squadron 52. And I think they've got some really clever uses of space. There weren't a huge production run of these boats. There's only about 20 that were made. Mm. Um, but I have to say they've got a really cosy feel to them. And particularly on a day like today, it feels a very, very nice place to be. Yeah, I know. In normal English weather, it's winter at the moment, it's howling with rain, yep. it's windy. Um, I came aboard here and <laughs> I came into the cockpit, the yep. door was open and it just felt lovely and warm in the cockpit um, and throughout the whole boat. So it's really cosy, the lights are on. Um, we'll show you all around the boat. We're gonna show you all the features and benefits of the boat. So don't go away, we're gonna have a walk around and we'll show you everything. Um, and we'll do that right now. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I was talking about the um, the heating is fitted with two heaters. So there's actually a heater which manages the, so two five kilowatt heaters, one that does the top upstairs area, then another one downstairs in the cabins. Um, the upstairs heat obviously gets dissipated around but feels lovely and warm. Downstairs in the cabins, you actually need to turn them down. There's so much heat yeah. down there. And it doesn't just heat, does it? It doesn't. It cools as well. Yeah. So this is also fitted with air conditioning. So as air conditioning for the hot summer months we're going to have because of global warming. It's good to, good to think about hot summer months. It doesn't feel like it at the moment, but you're right. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. Um, and and the, it's actually a med-spec boat, isn't it? Took the words out of my mouth there, exactly. Now, the boat has not actually been down to the med, but in terms of what the boat's fitted with, with extras, um, it's got your passerelle on it. It's got, as John said, your air conditioning. Uh, it's also got a water maker. Now, we're not selling the boat with the water maker as up and working because it hasn't been run for about three or four years. So officially it's decommissioned, but it's all still there. So if somebody yeah. wanted to get an engineer on board and get that working again, the system is there. Absolutely, it's all there. And it even has electric rear winches on the back for, uh, for rear mooring. So this is a boat you could take to the Med as well, um, but it has always been in the UK all its life. So it's, it's never had any yeah. sun damage apart from what's happening now with global warming. That's your say, is it a new bugbear of yours, global warming? I know, it's, it's a, a concern. It's a concern. It's a concern. Um, the other thing to mention, we talk about mooring up, um, it's also fitted with a bow and stern thruster as well, which makes it mooring up a breeze. And we'll show you the helm positions. To be fair with the weather, we may not go up onto the flybridge. So what we might do is talk you through the flybridge um, from being down here with, a vid with an overlay of a photograph. But, um, but we'll see, see how the video goes. I don't think the owner appreciates us taking the flybridge covers off today because it is pouring with rain. Very sensible. Right, yeah. let's start off then. So let's go right. to the back of the boat um, and start off in the, the rear cockpit area. Okay, so, fantastic. Let's go on through. Oh, sorry. Shall I go forward? Go on, you go through. Right, there we go. We'll ignore our coats. <laughs> but it is a vast cockpit area, and all laid to teak, um, and it is lovely and warm in here. There's a there's a heating vent that blows straight out into here, and there's two entrances into the cockpit area. There's one on the port and one on the starboard. Exactly the same, the same width, um, but just gives you that really nice access no matter what side of the boat you want to come onto. It's funny actually, a lot of the more modern boats have gone to this twin um, access. I know the, the big new Princesses have got mm. it, the Sun Seekers have got this big um, area for seating. And it's interesting to see Fairline were doing it back in the day and then moved away from it slightly. So no, some absolutely. Of the, it's, it's, I think it's really nice to be able to get it on both sides. Um, there is a tender on the back, um, which is very useful to have the passerelle, because the passerelle, don't forget, isn't just for mid mooring, it's also uses as a winch to lift your tender on and off. Um, so very useful. Um, these are the electric winches we are talking about. There's one either side. And... Really should have moved my shoe, shouldn't I? Yeah, I know, I know. But, <laughs> but it also has rope storage as well. Nice. So the ropes can be stored in there. And actually, I really like that. You can just see in there, you've actually got a hanger. So you can actually hang your ropes and then it's a fully draining locker. So your ropes would just be hung on there and then drain down, which is nice. Absolutely. Um, nice LED lighting all the way around, the blue LED lights that really um, gives a nice feel in here of an evening. And those LED lights actually run the whole way down the side of the edge, so um, the edge of the boat, so all along yeah, the walkway really like at night, it would look lovely. Yeah, yeah, I love that. <laughs> and what I really love about this though is the curved door. Yes. I don't know about you, but I really like this curved door. Um, it just really gives it a real high class feel. Um, and it's just a lovely stainless frame, and it's three door as well. So you can have it open, just 
just slightly if you want to just easy access but then you can open it up fully if you want to in incorporate your cockpit into the saloon and i really like the steps up to the flybridge yeah it feels like you're going you're properly going up to an upstairs doesn't it rather than just going on to on yeah. top of the boat yeah, it really feels like nice. we're inside yeah going up to outside rather than outside going going up i really like that feel and just little touches like you mentioned about the curved door then the curved theme also runs all the way around here so you've got a curved detail that runs all the way around and just attention to detail is, is really really beautiful the covers fit really well they're not particularly new i think the covers are probably five six years old um, but they all fit really really nicely um, if you were being ultra fussy you say you might possibly replace this rear screen because it's gone slightly opaque um, but actually the cover fit is superb so there's no yeah. need to go to the expense of replacing all of those so what's under here so there's another cabin in there so there's a crew cabin in there I mean, how easy is it to <laughs> we'll find out <laughs> Feeling, you've probably got to take these boxes up. That's it. Oh, I see. That's yeah. it. So it's used, used as a bit of a storage, like a lot of these crew cabins are. Um, but if you wanted to set that up as a crew cabin, then obviously you could take the, the stuff out. Um, you've got a toilet and a sink at the back there as well. Um, and then you've got an arrangement where you would have um, a single berth that would run all the way along there. Don't think there's room for two people. Or would you get two? No, is, it, is it twins? Oh, it's twins. Because there's lots of twin. stuff in it. Yeah, I think you're yeah. right. So it's twins there. It's a twin berth with a toilet up the end. Yeah, I think that's a proper twin cabin or very good for storing seats, Do you know jet I'd, wash, I'd an oil pump. I'd love to know those crew cabins. I'd love to know how many, how many nights people have spent on those crew cabins in the 20 odd years that these boats have been going. I yeah, suspect yeah, there's yeah, not yeah, many. Yeah, yeah. I reckon they're all used yeah, as extended mainly, lazarettes. Mainly storage, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very good storage. It's not the only storage. Yeah, of course. You've got, you've got under the floor as well. Um, obviously, there's a double pedestal here, which goes onto a big table, which is thing I like about the size of this area as well is you can easily get, say, two director's chairs that would be there and then actually create this whole space here into a really large dining area. So it's, it's great. A lot of cockpits, you don't have enough space to get the chairs facing backwards. So yeah. It's nice to be able to do that there. Um, there's a bit of boat hook storage as well, so you don't have to have them lying around on the deck. Um, but again, this goes down quite deep. There's lots of bags of bits and pieces in here. So very good use of storage. If he locks his boat hook, so he's got one that... One there, there's two in there and two there. I uh, three boat hooks. I mean, you, every boat should have three boat hooks. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, access the engine. So in oh, here, you've got the, what's rare about this boat, and it must have been one of the first the times they fitted this. So 2001 boat, but it has got the Volvo D-Series engines. So it's got the D12 700s in it. Yeah. So a 12 litre D-Series engine. Great engine option. Yeah, yeah, really, really good engine option. Yeah, to get bigger props. So you get a lower revving for the speed you're going, so more economical even though they're bigger engines, um, and you keep the power all year round as well. That's the trick with the smaller engines through the season, especially in these waters, you get a lot of growth underneath and they slow down quite quickly, but you keep the power with the D12s. Um, and the generators down there as well. So, and we've got an air con, of course, so we've got the generator so we can run the air conditioning and anything else we want to run off grid. Um, so Onan Jenny there. Um, and then engine access through into the engine room. So you can climb down there and check things like oils and waters, have a good look around the bilges. Um, so there's fairly good access there. Um, you can obviously have proper access through the saloon floor, but that means removing all the carpets up and getting through there. Um, and um, all in all though, um, it's what you'd expect access to be on a boat of this size yeah. with these engines in. Yeah, it's really nice. And I quite like seeing, we say we're in winter mode and it's nice to see there's a heater down there that just keeps that chill off the engines and any condensation away. Yeah, absolutely. So those couplings are... <laughs> They're massive, aren't they? Big old couplings. <laughs> nice condition as well. Normally they'd be all rusty by now, but they, obviously it shows a bit of a testament to how it's been looked after. Right, let's pop this back down. Excellent. So what's the flybridge like? I have this overlay photograph. So the flybridge is quite a nice design in that what you've got here is you've got the helm seat and passenger seat, but then you've got this seating area which is in front where you can lay down in front of this area. Um, then if you look behind, you've got this semicircular U-shaped seating area here. So it really is a very, very big space. And I like the fact that this boat doesn't have a, what you'd say is a traditional radar arch. It's got this twin post that sit, sticks up. That actually makes this boat feel a bit more like a small yacht, a bit more like a small ship. 
And in fact, talking about that, when I was with the owner earlier on today, and we were running through all the systems on board the boat, um, systems such as, um, obviously, you've got the water maker, um, and it just felt like, I don't know, it's almost fitted out like a ship rather than a, a, a small boat. There's lots of things to get your head around on this, and I quite like that. Yes, it's a serious boat. It is, yeah. It's a good yeah way so of you're getting it. to that stage where you have all these systems on it, have all these um, components, have all this layout and the way it's designed, that it really gives it, it, it proves it's an offshore boat. Yeah. Because this is an offshore boat. And, uh, and all these systems are a testament to that. Right, let's right. go inside. And I think the thing that strikes you in this is just coziness. I just love the split seating area here having but well, basically you've got two really really good size just one of these would be i'd be saying there's good seating on this yeah. boat but you've actually got two it's so social it is isn't it i mean you can have a lot of people in here just socializing and you don't have to be on top of each other it's really nice having this split it is really cozy nice um, drinks down there what i do like about up here is that um, in this position we can actually see out and slightly down so we can see down to the water so sitting here with a coffee in the morning you know, it's a, it's a, nice, bit, a bit, couple of croissants. Indeed. And croissants. a chocolate. You almond tell, croissants. You can tell you've been on holiday I'm into almond croissants now. Oh, yeah, it's now. a new thing, is it? Yeah, <laughs> since we went to Spain. Nice. And, uh, yeah, just really nice. Nice cabinetry, nice woodwork. The woodwork actually is all in excellent condition. Quite often on the high-gloss um, finish, you see little marks around the place. But I'm, I'm struggling to see any, to be honest. I think it, it's all just presented really nicely. Yeah, I and, think... And just inside here, if I open this up, you've got a television that's all on runners so those doors just slide back in again and i'd say that's probably a sort of 30 inch television in there which is a perfect position when you sat here um, but what's quite nice is it still keeps that sideboard space free at the back of course if somebody wanted to put a bigger tv up on the top you could but i think that's that's perfectly good enough there yeah absolutely uh, and then come the evening when you want to get cozy it's got these lovely pull down blinds I'd imagine they might be aftermarket. I'm not sure if they would have been ocean uh, air blinds. They are ocean air blinds, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. they may have been done after, after the boat was built, so it's a really nice addition there. And you get them all the way around this lower, these lower windows. And, of course, you get a lovely curtain across the rear door as well. Um, but being in the saloon, it's quite nice to have a few drinks when you're in here. So to save you going all the way down to the galley, there is a fridge unit, which obviously will be loaded with drinks. If you're so. sensible. Yeah, it's nice that. Mm. It's just nice. It's a very nicely thought out boat. Yeah. And the, the helm position, I think, is amazing. So as we come up here, you've got what feels like a... Pro Back to my point about feeling like you're on a ship. I mean, that could be the bridge of a, a much, much larger ship there. It all wraps around you. Um, and what's really cool is that these seats here, all fully working, they're actually built... They actually are Recaro seats, um, and they're all electric. So you've got oh, bolsters. Recaro's. Yeah, they're Recaro. Oh, yeah, made by Recaro. So you've got electric bolsters, so you can see, oh, sure what can bit, I think bolster. Johnson's doing the bolster there, but the back of the seat um, goes up and down, the seat goes up and down, you can just see it moving there, forwards, <laughs> it's so cool. It's so cool. It is cool. And you can get the really... seats rarely move, they? they only go back and forward. Yeah. And you've got, complete you control. Adjust. you've got complete control on that. Um, so in terms of the rest of the systems, the boat's running a 24-volt system, uh, and it's, sorry, it's 24, it's 32, isn't it? Good matter. What's that? 32 amp system, would be the system that it runs, electrical system, be 32. 24-volt? 24-volt. Yes, but what's one thing about 32 amps? I'm getting confused. 12-volt or 24-volt. That's right. And then you can have 16 amp or 32 amp 32. for the shore power. That's the one. So it's the shore power. It's got a twin 32 amp shore power connections, one of which um, is really useful for running the air conditioning and the other one for the boat itself. So he was running through that with me earlier. 232 amps? Yes, 232 amps. So the domestics is also on a 32 amp. Okay, very good. That's a, that's a lot of capacity. A lot of capacity there. So as we run through the systems here, you've got the usual distribution panels. You've got a loud hailer system, uh, which we tested earlier, where you can summon the people doing the ropes and the fenders. Uh, you've got here your air conditioning, so your heating, your cooling. It's reverse cycle air conditioning. Um, as well as then having your heating system next door to it, which power this is controlling the, the saloon 5 kilowatt Robasto system. Um, you've got a radar, which we have turned on. It does sweep, it does work, but I haven't tested it out at sea, so it's got the radar um, on it. Uh, and then all of the rest of the systems around. You've got twin chart plotters, EDC controls, which I think is quite unusual on a boat around the, the early 2000s, and more commonly... That's what you get with the D12s. Yeah, more commonly, wasn't it, yeah. 2003, four onwards. So it's yeah, it makes see, it feel much more modern uh, and easy to control. I mean, just being able to just, just do that. It's nice, isn't it? To go in and out of gear, very nice. 
Um, bow and stern thruster controls in a nice position as well, actually. Yeah. So if you are driving from the lower helm, actually operating them here is very easy, and obviously the steering. I, I just love the way it wraps around. It's cool, isn't it? You feel and even the plotters are all they're all in your face. Yeah. So you know you're not, you haven't got to worry about contrast on the screens and things like that because they're all in your face. It's really good. And then there's that um, remote control there, slight nerve bow and stern thruster remote, which makes it really easy if you're if you're short-handed as well. Yeah. So, should we crack on with downstairs? Yes. So, if I carry on down, then you can join me. I love this corridor. I don't know what it is, but it feels so different to other boats. Having access that goes down the side of the boat, you go down these steps, they've all got lovely courtesy LED lighting, uh, lighting up the steps there. Uh, you've got this vanity unit here with a porthole. And then, I don't know, it just seems, it feels very different to other flybridges. I think it's got a really good feel for that. And of course, this was one of the very first boats that Fairline did that had the midships cabin. So you have here, it's not full width, but you've got a really, yeah, really, really large really midships cabin, which has got great headroom and height here. How tall are you, Jonathan? Uh, six foot. Six foot, there you go, six foot tall. Sure and you can, see, you can see loads yeah. and loads of height there above you. Yeah, loads, loads of headroom. And uh, yeah, there's a, a nice wardrobe in there. And the bed as well. Quite a nice bed. Shall I get on? You get on and show the height. There you go. Or the length of you. Yeah. There you go. That's pretty good. That's great, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, I think it's, it's just a really good size room. Um, one of our customers actually was thinking about um, buying a Squadron 52 back in the summer as a liverboard. And spending time on board today, I can actually see this boat would work really, really well as a liverboard. You've got your own um, Ubasto control here. So you've got a second heater. Yep. And which you can control down here and your own air conditioning as well so you can really make this cabin warmer as cool as you like and um, it won't affect the other the other spaces um, yep. loads of loads of drawers your own television and again an ocean air blind nice which is quite nice. i like that yeah we like those and of course you've got an ensuite um perhaps a hark back in the day you've got a b-day as well so you've got a toilet a b-day there's see many b-days on boats do you i've never used a b-day no, i haven't used a b-day to be fair not so sure it's aimed. Does anybody know anybody that's used them? Mm, possibly. Maybe that's something. In the Maybe that's something for the comments. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you can see a good size um, and like a double size shower as well. So you've not just a normal shower. I would say would probably come to about here, but actually it's right at the back there. So a good double that's size a good shower. Point. There. I haven't seen a shower this size. It's huge, isn't it? On a fair line before. Really good. You've got a vanity mirror and then more cupboard storage here, uh, wooden flooring. And just, I think the attention to detail is lovely. You've got um, heated towel rail, which is a nice nice addition to a boat. Hey, Jonathan, you just put one of those in your boat, haven't you? Heated towel rails? Yes. You love it. It's a brilliant addition. <laughs> oh, God, it's hot as well. Everything it's on this boat's hot, hot well. to be fair today. It's a really warm boat. Mm. Um, and then I just like the little touches, like the design of here. It looks like this sink is sitting there on a pedestal. It's really nice. Then we come across the next the next place to go is the main, I suppose you'd call this the day heads, but of course it is also an ensuite yeah. um, for the master cabin. Um, it's very similar styling. You've got this yeah. pedestal. A little flash of the big window outside as well. Oh, that's you? nice. And it's uh, obscure. And it goes through into the shower room. Oh, that's nice. There's a really light room in there. You've yeah. got a, a shower seat for people who like sitting down to shower, or again, a good height there. And the shower actually comes out the roof. By the look at that. So it's actually mounted up in the ceiling there. No B-Day in here. Though. No B-Day in here. It's only a one deep B-Day boat, I'm afraid, John. <laughs> <You have laughs> and, the the and then into what I would normally say is the master cabin, but I guess this is the guest cabin on this boat. Um, yeah. So a really good size. You can see here to change in the morning. You've got plenty of space here. And then it's just a nicely appointed cabin. Um, you've got cupboards over on that far side. So you've got full, full height cupboards. Um, a nice suede effect all the way around here. Some of the linings in this cabin have been replaced as well. So this suede lining here has all been replaced. Um, and it's a good size. I like the style, the yeah. way that sweeps. This would absolutely be the master cabin in so, so many boats. But of course, yeah. having that, that voluminous um, centre cabin changes that. Cool. Right, let's carry Very on good. back around. There is another cabin which we haven't shown you. And it's a hidden cabin. It's quite a cool one. Oh, yes. You just remember that, haven't you? I've just remembered that. <laughs> so if we come back up here, uh, the galley, I love this galley because the fact the galley is dropped right the way down, you feel that you're part of everything going on, but actually you feel like you're really separate. You're in your own, in your own little kitchen space here. So you've got a four burner um, galley, uh, sorry, the hob there. Um, this is pretty cool. You press that, so that's setting there, and that is an extractor fan. So the extractor fan comes up out of the, 
the work surface so you don't get all the food smells for the rest of the boat. You've got a double twin sink, large fridge, and what you may think is a storage cupboard is another cabin. So look in there. You have a single cabin and washroom. So you have a washer dryer, you've got a heated towel rail, you've got a sink in here, and I'll tell you what, my boys would be fighting over having this space. So just in the middle of here, you've got an extra cabin, which most people would think was just storage. And I think that's just brilliant. So I think this galley is brilliant. It's fairly small. Um, there's not a lot of space in here, but actually how much space do you need? You've got plenty of room here for a couple of people and then access into this additional single berth. There's quite a nice feature there that just tucks down and just closes that room off. So as we come back up again, you can see the feeling of this boat is just really, really nice. Sun's out. The sun's Let's out. Have a look around the side. Let's have a look. Let's have a look around the side. Let's have a look around the side. Side decks, first thing to notice is teak side decks all the way down, which is really nice. Now we are in winter mode, so everything's gone a little bit green, but these would easily clean up um, as part of a nice spring clean. And the boat feels really chunky. I feel yeah. like I've got, you know, you've got grab handles up here, which are almost not bending down to get to. It's a no, big, it big feeling boat. Yeah, it feels really nice. And this, uh, this area up the front feels really serious. You've got massive cleats, fair leads, that a post for the anchor, the anchor drops down. I think that's for a second anchor, I think. Yeah. Because you've got the first anchor is actually under here, that drops through, and then you can have a second anchor option on, on the bow as well. Oh, wow, okay. It and again, this is again, is a like med spec, so you can tie up to, um, tie forward and then reverse in. I do think this boat, as you said earlier, it's got so many features that I think they, what you probably find is this is the first boat in the squadron range that got all of the big squadron range features. Cause of course they went all the way up to sort of 78 footers. And yeah. I bet that arrangement they've got on the front is probably the same one they put on the 78. Yeah, too right. Yeah. And they've got all the LED lights around, nice fender holders built into the rails. So he's actually welded in. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, so actually part of it. That's really smart. And a really nice social bow area. Fair. Yeah, I think it was a good call not taking the flybridge cover off because it is sunny now, but it's the sort of day where in three minutes time it'll probably have a deluge of rain. Um, but say so we've got that overlay there to show you what's on the cover. And of course you can see that radar arch there, which is a bit different, just straight up, which I do think gives this boat a really nice small ship feel. Mm. Yeah, feels big. It does feel really big, doesn't it? Yeah. I like this boat. <laughs> Right, we'll walk back down the side decks. Again, you've got really, really good um, wide side decks. I always talk about where your safety handholds are. You've got safety handholds all the way around and then dropping back down here into this really large cockpit space. So I'm going to set the, um, the camera back down again. <laughs> Right, well, I think we've probably talked pretty much everything there is to talk about this boat. I think the only thing I will just say, I've probably gone on about it enough, is the feel of this boat. It's pretty special. I mean, mm. When you step on board this boat, I would want to spend a lot of time on this boat. I think it'd struggle to get me to go home, actually. It's a really, yeah. really special boat. Yeah, yeah, no, you can, you could certainly live on here for long periods of time. Really comfortably. Yeah, really, really comfortably. And it has a nice feel about it. It's an ace of the boat. It's a yeah. 2000 and... One uh, boat. One, yep, it's a 2001 boat, boat. Um, but there's so much modern touches to it as well. It's had upgrades, it's had a really nice feel, but you really get that quality with yeah. Fairline that just just transpires over the years. Yeah, I agree. And I think it's just the fact that you've, I mean, I'd, I would love to sit here now, three or four friends up using that top area, using this area here. It's a very social boat, it's a very friendly boat. Um, so yeah, I think this would be an amazing boat. I thoroughly recommend it. Um, of course, it is for sale at the moment, so um, please have a look at your full detailed specs are on our website, parker-adams.co.uk. Um, obviously, got this walkthrough tour, and in the next few weeks, we're going to be taking out and doing drone footage as well. We planned on doing that today, however, the weather's got mm. in the way with about four, seven, or eight. I think, yeah, um, we'll let it calm down a bit first. Yeah, yeah. When, I, when I first came on the boat about two hours ago, it was absolutely howling. I said to the guy, Well, we're heading out, and he goes, Yeah, I'll just slip the lines. I think not. So, <laughs> not, not a day to go out to sea. But no, absolutely. Cool. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough tour. Um, we've, it's been a pleasure to bring you this boat as always. And yeah, please remember if you haven't already to do that familiar like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yep. Yeah. Come and look at all our other videos. Yep. 
and on our website now as well all our videos are on there so all our walkthrough videos and all our drone videos are now on a page on our website so you can get straight to them by just going to parker-adams.co.uk and the other thing that we've done on this boat as well is we've done 360 photographs so on the listings page on the website you'll be able to actually swipe you swipe your finger around and actually have a good look around the boat in your own time so fantastic i think that's about it all right thanks again thanks for um, watching see you on the next one take care all the best bye bye